in their first advising conversation, students should come prepared with a set of ideas for the kinds of courses that they would like to take, even if they can't identify particular courses that they think they want to sign up for. And then they will discuss the kinds of choices that they've made with their advisor, and the advisor will help them pick from the actually offered courses to match the kinds of interests that they have displayed. So the advising conversation is a conversation. You should expect to uh, speak and to listen uh, on both sides. This is true. And uh, most importantly, you should have some ideas about who you are and what your interests are, what your goals are, and what classes you might want to take. Um, you want to kind of be in the middle. You don't want to be interested in everything, because if you're interested in everything, uh, then it's really hard for an advisor to give you any guidance. Uh, on the other hand, if you're super narrow and you've decided that you want to be exactly an analytical chemist, you're a little bit too narrow maybe and you need to leave some more options open because you never know what you're going to encounter in college. So during the first advising conversation, um, I like to get to know the students a little bit about what they are looking for academically, but also to get to know them outside of academics. What interests do they have? What activities are they looking forward to participating in? So I have a little bit of a better idea about um, where they're going to be spending their time. The very first advising conversation happens pretty quickly. There's a half hour window in which you and your advisor are sitting together, picking out courses, looking at whether slots are available for those courses, finding out slots are not available for those courses, and having a plan B. So in that first conversation in the fall semester, it's pretty important that you've done a little bit of advanced planning, have some backup plans. Also, it's important to remember that's not the only conversation and that's not the only time that you're going to have to select your courses. You will have time to go back later and change them. So I guess the main thing is don't panic. Well, the uh, first meeting is about scheduling courses. So I go through the courses that the students have um, inputted into their uh, academic planning form, the preliminary version of the academic planning form. And uh, we just try to see if those courses are aligned with the students' um, plans, academic plans. We also try to make sure that the course load is uh, feasible, that, um, that the student will have uh, the, the time to do all the assignments. And um, after we, the student and I agree that those are the um, courses, then I sign the form and then the student is ready to, um, to register for courses on the next day. The first advising conversation focuses on their course selection for the fall term. So the students should come prepared with you know, possible courses for the fall term and not just the four courses they think they will take but some backup courses as well and then we can narrow down the, the selection to four courses. It's always important for students to prepare in advance for advising conversations because the course offerings at Princeton are very diverse and very rich and so the advisor can't know all the possible things that you might be interested in. So it's up to you as the student to come prepared with a set of questions and a set of ideas for the kinds of courses that you're interested in and then work with the advisor to narrow that down to particular courses that you might consider taking. You need to have thought. That's about it. Do some serious thinking about uh, what your interests and goals are. Where do you want to be? Where do you see yourself being after college? And you can have lots of different answers, but you know some of them should really appeal to you. Um, yeah. um, at the first conversation, we do have to work out um, what courses they're going to be taking. And so if they think about some of their placements, I think uh, a lot of times uh, their foreign uh, language placement. Um, they need to think about do they want to continue what they've been taking in high school or start a brand new language. Um, and there's benefits to both of those things, but if they've given some thought to that before we meet, we can have a better conversation about it. Um, I think when they come to their first meeting, it's good to have a few alternative uh, alternate classes um, in mind in case the four that they really wanted to get into don't work out for some reason. What's really important is to have a number of different options for yourself in the event that courses are not 
available or the times don't work out, do as much homework as you possibly can about things that might be of interest to you so that we don't spend our time on websites looking things up that you could have found out for yourself. I think the best use of an advisor is that this is a person who's a Princeton faculty, has a particular area of expertise, the thing that they teach or what they run, but also a general interest in the university, and can certainly give advice. But the best advice, I think, comes from well-informed questions. So do a little research. I suggest that the student read all of the emails that they get from the director of studies because uh, generally those emails would contain information and links to uh, the appropriate websites. Uh, for instance, the, probably one of those emails would contain information on um, where to find the description for the courses that are being offered that semester. Uh, so it's a good idea for the students to be somewhat acquainted with the courses that are uh, being offered that semester. It's a good idea for the student to have a list of backup courses that he or she might want to take. I also suggest um, that if the student has uh, some inkling on what um, field they might want to major in, to go to the website of the department and check uh, what the prerequisites are to declare a major in that field in their sophomore year. The preparation for the first conversation in the fall advising is the course selection, so sh they should have an idea of what courses they are taking, uh, and we will narrow them down to the four courses that will be approved for the fall term. For future con uh, conversations, they can uh, you know, come not just for uh, academic advising, but also you know, their general interests uh, in the universities, uh, uh, the issues that they are uh, facing, and uh, you know, uh, come prepared, uh, have their questions ready, and we will answer those.